Baba Shemel Shah. That means you were just man pleasing the entire time, man. That means you really trust in man. That means you trust in man, man. All right. As a matter of fact, let me get that Revelation chapter three, man. Revelation chapter three, verse twenty. Let's get the scripture. Revelation chapter three, verse twenty. This is what Yahweh Shai said. This is what Yahweh Shai said. Let's hear what he said. And it's in red letters. Revelation chapter three, verse twenty. Behold, I stand at the door and knock your mind. If any man hear my voice, this book, this word. Matter of fact, I may read up a little. Just uh um Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him, I will sup with him, and he with me. That's the comforter, the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right? Verse 21. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I overcame and sat down in my father in his throne. Jump up to verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast which thou hast had. Hold fast. Hold on. Don't sell the truth. That no man take thy crown, man. So ain't no excuse, man. All right? She says, let no man take thy crown, man. Because you already have the victory in the spirit. You have the spiritual crown already. Okay, you ain't supposed to let nobody take your crown, man. That's going to hell off, man. Okay? That means you don't fear your Ha'abah Shemiel Shah, man. Okay? So at the end of the day, you know, we build each other up, brothers and sisters. Every man has his own path to walk. Every man, man. We all lead in the same place. We got different paths, different tests lined up for each member. So the scripture says, let no man let no man take thy crown. Okay? Alright, so you gotta examine yourself on that. You gotta check yourself on that, man. Alright? It's about pleasing your about you now shot. Like the apostle Paul said, Galatians 1 and 9. But Jake can't come with that excuse. Alright? Lord ain't hearing that, man. Have the doctrine push. Galatians 1 and 9. 10. For I do, I now persuade men or the most high. Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be a servant of Yahweh Shai, man. So if I'm trying to please men, then I can't be a servant of Yahweh Shai. How was I said that how many times in a book, man? I, I'm gonna have to read it. John chapter 5. That's what he told the Pharisees. John chapter 5, verse, mm, let me see, 41. It says, that's what Yahweh said. I receive not honor from men. Read it again. Verse 
very quick, John 541. I receive not honor from men. That's what Yahweh Shai said. See? He wasn't trying to receive honor from the Pharisees. They were the leaders. I'm not trying to seek honor from you guys, man. Alright? Who am I pleasing? Yahweh Shimei Al Shah. Pleasing the most high. Ultimately, man. That's the first commandment. Let me get it. See, I gotta go back. Deuteronomy 6 and 5. This is a law. This is the law right here, man. This is a commandment for every Israelite man to follow, man. Deuteronomy 6 and 5. The Lord our power is one Lord, which we always say that um, in the Hebrew as well. My friend, it says, And thou shalt love Yahweh Shimei Shai, thy power, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words I shall command thee this day shall be put in thine heart or thy mind. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Thou shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou hast liest down, and when thou risest up. You're supposed to meditate in day and night. He also says in the book of Joshua. And thou shalt write upon them. No, 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 no. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine head, and they shall be as frontlets between thy eyes. That goes into what? Oh. Um, the phylacteries, man. All right. It says, and thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house and on thy gates. Okay. So you're supposed to have all the 613 commandments written on your doorpost, man. For guys who say it's all about the law. All right. I guarantee you they don't have that, man. All right. Which it, which it is a part of the law or the commandments. You have to keep the, uh, the law and the commandments, but it's all about believing on Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So that's a tradition our people did in the past. They have all the laws written. They also have what the fringes. When you look upon it, you'll know. Okay. You look upon the fringes. Shalom, brother. Shalom. 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 Brother, the spirit, man. See, you just moving, man. See, you just moving in the spirit, man. And all these different um, things happening. I put the news report up. Seeing it. Oh, you seen it? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. During the NBA game. The NBA game was shaking. They, they canceled the summer league game. The baseball game. People were screaming about.
Summers are way hotter than this. Yeah, they have 115. Like 100. Yeah, three, yeah. Like, they got 115 in France. Seven people dead. And um, what else they have? They have um. Oh man, the flesh eating bacteria, which I heard about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But I've been hearing about it more and more. It's moving up more and more. It started out in Florida. Now it's in Maryland. Maryland is right there. And I, I see the video put up. The lady, she like had a scar or whatever. Yeah. Cut. Yeah. She went to the beach or something like that. Then they see no, she was about to die. Did she die? Yeah. Die. That was an Edomite, right? Yeah, it was an Edomite. This is all, mostly all of them. You have one or two Jakes who got that. But it's mainly Edomites that get hit with that. Um, and that's crazy, man. That means you can't go on the beach. Yeah. The people down there in Florida, they can't go on no beach like that, man. Because you don't know. That's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're trying to have fun and live it up. Yeah. In America, the most out of the shortest place. Man. Yeah, That's man. Like, yeah. You know some of beach time, trying to have fun in the beach. Yeah. Like that, man. Nah. Yeah, they, they, they don't, you can't go on no beach. People can't, you can't, yo, man, people, legs. I seen that thing, I was like, damn, man, that's scary because you can't see it. Yeah. You can't see it, man. You wouldn't even expect it. Like, you nah. just think you're good. Probably yeah. feel like a little burn, like a saltwater burn, but that's a bacteria. Bacteria, man. People better stay off their beaches, man. Uh, when you eat a mites, you know what? You are eat a mites, so can go all out. Yeah, because this is it for y'all, man. I was saying that's what eat a mite, uh, like I think last week, I was saying the shit you better look it up now. Yeah. Because it's coming to an end, man. Right? Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah, how was I gave that order, man? Revelation 3.11. I just read that. Revelation 3.11. Behold, I'm at the door. Let's, I'm going to read it one more time then. Beginning, man. So heat wave. You know that, that all these things are cause a famine, man. There's so many things that can cause a famine, man. Yeah, earthquakes, heat wave, flesh eating bacteria. It's all that can mess up the ecosystem, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Because the heat brings that, man. Yeah. And, and with that, the intense heat also brings them earthquakes too, man. So all them dreams about tsunamis, man, all that is right around the corner, man. See what I'm saying? All that's right around the corner, man. We don't know how it's gonna play out, but this is it. And Revelation, matter of fact, Revelation, I read that. Revelation 3 and 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast in which thou hast. The doctrine. I'm talking about the doctrine. That no man take thy crown. Let no man take thy crown. So even if you get kicked out of the tent, so it's still about to push the word. Still supposed to push, man. Like, what the hell does that got to do with, with the your salvation, yeah. man? Exactly. You, you had splits in the things are the thing says the things are written a four times written while learning, man. You had splits in the past, man. Matter of fact, let me get that. Acts 15. You had two top men, Paul and Barnabas, who had a split. It wasn't over doctrine, it was over certain protocols they had over um, Mark, which I believe was Barnabas' nephew. And um, uh, Barnabas' sister gave her nephew Mark over to Barnabas, like, yo, take care of my son. Know your man of the Lord, look at him. But Mark wasn't really, I guess at that time, Paul felt he wasn't really fit, cut out, to go through what they were going through because they were getting persecuted. And I think it was one city that it was in, he bailed out, went to Jerusalem, and came back. And Paul was like, yo, I don't want that guy around us. Barnabas was like, yo, that's my nephew. Like, what do you want me to deny? Mark Paul was like, yo, but he can't, can't be around here. We're going to read it, actually. Acts 15, 34. It says, Acts 15, verse 30. So when they were dismissed, they came to Antioch, Syria. And when they had gathered the multitudes together, they delivered the epistle, the writing. Good, good. Which when they had read, they rejoiced for the consolation. And Judas and Silas, being prophets, also themselves exhorted the brethren with many words and confirmed them. And after they had tarried there a space, they were let go in peace from the brethren and from the apostles. Notwithstanding, it pleased Silas to abide there still. Paul also and Barnabas continue in Antioch teaching and preaching the word of the Lord with many others. And some days after Paul said unto Barnabas, Let us go and visit our brethren in every city which we have preached the word of the Lord and see how they do. And Barnabas determined to take with them John, whose surname was Mark, that was his nephew. And Paul thought not good to take him with them, who departed from them, from Philadelphia, and went not with them to the work. So he left. I can't remember why he left. It's further up in the book of Acts. He went to Jerusalem. And Paul was like, this guy ain't cut for this thing, man. And it says, and it said, what? Just a point. And the contention, the argument, was so sharp between them that they the departed asunder one from another so that must have been an intense argument that Paul and Barnabas had the scripture it tells you that the contention was so sharp they end up going their separate ways so it's like they came basically they split they started they still was pushing the word but yeah like, they, they split they split, split right. yeah because um and they were traveling with each other for a while but Paul felt that Mark was not correct for the um what he was about to go through because the persecution back then was high because you go through cities and telling them that they Greek and Roman gods is not the truth. This is the truth. Paul and Barnabas always had to keep fleeing, running away. And Mark held out at one point. Mark Paul was like, this guy is not threatened for this thing. 
I don't really want this guy around. Barnabas is like, yo, that's, you know, I'm entrusted with Tim Candace guy. This is my nephew. So the scripture said the contention was so sharp, they end up splitting. And it says what? And the contention was so sharp between them, they had departed asunder one from another. And so Barnabas took Mark, his nephew, and sailed unto Cyprus. That's where he came from. That's, uh, I believe that's uh, west of Jerusalem. It's a small island. That's where Barnabas come from. It says, uh, so he took his nephew and he went to Cyprus. And Paul chose Silas and departed from being recommended by the brethren unto the grace of the Most High. So did they stop doing the work? No. They stopped. That's what's to stop pushing, man. There's no excuse for that, man. So, uh, the scripture it is, I think is, uh, it's something to and to well. Work out your own salvation. Philippians. Philippians, yeah. Philippians. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Work out your own salvation. Man, so, if we are working out our own salvation, we're going to have to let them No argument stop you from working out your own salvation. None, man. That means, that means that those brothers who did that, they never truly believed. You gotta examine yourself, man. Why am I in this? Am I in this to please men? Or am I looking for vain glory? Or am I trying to please you? How about you now, child? Okay, because we see the, the prophecies happening. You want to be shielded, man, from these things coming on the earth, man. Matter of fact, I get that after. Philippians 2.12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, so this is what Paul said, not as in my presence only. So don't just do things because I'm there. But what? But now now much more in my absence. So when I'm not there, and that's the real fight anyway. Because brother's not with you 24-7. See what I'm saying? The real fight is when you're by yourself. And it's true. You're mainly by yourself anyway. That's what the word soldier is. Solitude. You got you to gotta learn to be... Oh, even them guys, them other guys, them other channels, them jakes, Ed Moore and the mid child channels. I don't know if you've heard of that. Mid child, men, men going their own way. Like instead of focusing on women, they focus on themselves and better themselves. And they realize they're the prize. See, that doctrine is, is come, that's called being a man. That, the scripture tells you that. The scripture tells you that we're the prize. These women are not the prize, but you have a lot of jakes. They're not in the truth. But now they start to realize that fact. The time and energy that men put on women, they also put it on themselves. The sky's the limit. It's just kind of explicit. When a man chase, when he bet himself or he chase success, women follow him. When you chase women, they don't pay attention to you. Because you're doing this out of order, man. That's how the Most High set it up, man. And this, that's how Esau got to society. That's why there's porn everywhere. Women can dress how they want. And you know you're in the flesh, so you fall victim to these things at times. But um, the way it is according to the scriptures, the Most High wants you to understand that we're the prize, man. That's what you Israelite men gotta understand. We're the gold, man. Yeah. We uh, this is gonna make men like us find gold. Guys. Yeah, so yeah. We're about to find that. Yeah. yeah. It's all about boosting all that. Yeah. Because if they not the Israelite woman, they not tag team, when elect men in that time, they gonna get put to death, man. They gonna get eaten. They gonna get raped. Whatever, man. They're going to be taken, man. It also says, uh, I, 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 I remember the scriptures, but I forget where it's at. Seven women shall support one man. Okay, let's get it. Isaiah 4 and 1. Isaiah 4 and 1. Matter of fact, I'm going to read a little further up. Isaiah 3. I think it's 3, I'm thinking, 325, I believe. Probably 325, yeah. I'll read further. And I, and I just go to that, like, it's seven minutes completion. Right? It'll be so a thousand, like, five thousand, yeah, ten yeah, thousand. Yeah, yeah. And they, they basically be like, only that's only for the men of the Lord, though. The ones that do the commandments like protecting and shielding. Yeah. They may have special powers, and the females may see them, you know, take out a whole martial law group of troops and all that, not even follow them. And, and most high so bad, but the dudes all complain about women. The women you may like now, in that time, you may just, it's a nine out of ten chance you're going to reject them. Because if the Lord gives you spiritual power, you can see in a spirit. 
Like, you slept, but how much, man? Get the fuck out of here. You ain't coming with me. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you ain't coming with me. You gonna have to, we'll be able to see through them. And the way they look now is not how they gonna look then. There ain't gonna be no electricity. There gonna be no toiletries. They ain't gonna be able to do their hair, their nails, their makeup, shave their beard, none of that. All right? Because they put on a whole facade now that covers their ugliness, and that time is gonna be there. And then you're gonna have crazy smells out here. You're not gonna be sanitation, um, picking up trash. You're gonna have dead bodies everywhere. You're not gonna have clean water. They're gonna be bleeding on themselves. They're gonna be smelling crazy. And then they're gonna see you, you know, um, eating. Things is not touching you. Spiritual power. They just gonna flock to you, man. And then they not eating at that. And then you got madmen out here, raping, killing, sparing none. So they, they be trying to like escape from those things. Yeah. Come use protection. Yeah. For a minute yeah. Most high gonna bring them so low, man. That's what scripture says. We gonna get it though. Since the brother brought it up. Isaiah 325. Ooh, with the Lord going on of daughters of Zion. I'm gonna read into it. The hour. See? Yeah, our women were decked out back then. It says, Revelation 3.18. No, I Revelation. Isaiah 3.18. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and their cows and round tires like the moon. That's when back then they used to actually dress good. Because he did that during the time of Jeremiah, the Babylonians. The Babylonians came in. Women had to eat their own children. But well, he's going to do it again today. Their chains and their bracelets and their mufflers that's back then. The bonnets and the ornaments that they have in their hair and of their legs and their headbands and the tablets and their earrings. So y'all women back then were decked out. And before they could deal with you, they had to um, bathe in certain um, oils for like up to a year. Um, when you read about Esther, what she did with the king, she had to bathe in certain oils for a whole year. Different oils. Before she could come into his presence. That's gonna happen again. It says, um. The rings and nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel, and the mantles, and the wimples, and the crisping pins. And today we could say they cushy job, their benefits, they get child support or section eight or whatever goodies Esau give him, they gonna lose everything. The glasses and the fine linen and the hood and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, they shall be stink, and instead of a girdle, a rent, and instead of well set hair, baldness. Yeah, that's why the, to the southern kingdom, their hair, the woman hair, that's why they have uh, weave and extension. Because that's a woman's glory, is her hair. See? They know that in the spirit. It says, and in burning, ugly instead of beauty. And especially when Jacob's trouble comes. See? All, now all that stuff that they do now, they take a whole two hours to get ready. They're going to be strict in beer, man. Right? You were like, God, damn. You were like, hell. And matter of fact, it says, And her gates shall lament and a mourn, and she shall be desolate, shall sit upon the ground. On verse 25, Thy men shall fall by the sword, and thy mighty in the war. They, when America go to war with Iran, it's going to be a draft. Their boyfriends, their baby fathers, whatever, they're going to get put to death out here, because the Lord not going to be with them. That's what I'm saying? And then, then, they're going to try to seek out a man of the Lord. But if the men of the Lord got something for you in that time, man. It's going to be an N-O, man. All right? You're going to get rejected, man. I'm going to hand you right back to your slave master Esau. A lot of you, a lot of you going to get rejected, man. All right? Especially in America, man. Because they've been too proud at one time. Too proud, man. The majority of women that are more likely going to get saved are the uh, Israelite foreigner women. When he, Revelation 7, when he said he saw the great multitude that no man could number from all nations. Yeah. Because the vast majority of these women, man, they, they so far to the left. But it says, um, and in that day, so we just read what the Lord was going to do to these women. The scripture says, in that day, when that happens, seven women, completion, shall take hold of one man, man of the Lord, saying, we will eat our own bread, we'll make our own food. And wear our own apparel, make our own clothes. Only let us be called by thy name. That's marriage or sex. To take away our reproach. 
So they don't know at that time that they're being judged. And the only way they could be saved is by tag teaming or joining with the man of the Lord. That's the only way, man. He has to take away your approach. Why? Because a man is your head. How you doing? Shalom. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? The, um, the man is a man is her head. You see what I'm saying? Like we were saying, the Lord is our head. We're the Lord's woman. And these women gotta get down, man. And if they don't get down, like Beanie Seagull said, you get down or you lay down, man. You know what I mean? They don't get with the order, man. Then they gonna face terror, man. Matter of fact, there's another one I wanna get. Micah 7 and 10. I don't know if you bring, you bring out that one or, or not. She, she that is that thine enemy? Nah. Yeah, Micah 7 and 10. There's she that is the, my enemy. Talking about the Israelite woman. Because like we said, she made a marriage with the serpent he saw in the beginning. And they, they enjoying that blessing right now. That's when you give them the job, the benefits, section A, alimony. Tell them you could, you know, dress the way you want, you could be a lesbian. He's giving them power to be over the man. So especially the so-called black man. He's not the head of his, his household. The so-called white man has given her power. See? But now the most high has given us our power. You know what I mean? Now we we woke up to who we are, keeping the commandments, have to the best of our ability, having faith, prophesying. You see? Now we, we getting back our manhood, man. You see? It says what? She that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her. All these things happen that we said. Which said unto me, where is the Lord thy power? Because they don't believe that. Uh, they don't want to see us as kings. You see, a lot of them don't even want to believe that the Lord is a dark, a dark skinned man. You see what I'm saying? It says, where is the Lord thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now she, she, she shall be trodden down as Maya of the streets. They're going to be trodden down. They're going to be killed. Right? Because it, it's not going to stop with the earthquakes. Um, when you had the government shut down, there was a there was on the verge of cutting um, uh, welfare. People, welfare recipients said it wasn't getting their, um, their uh, whatever stipends that they get each month. Yeah. It wasn't anything about, it wasn't anything about taking away taxes too, the tax return. You know? Yeah, they was on the verge, man. It was on the verge of doing all that. And the crazy thing was, um, IRS agents, was, <laughs> and they were getting affected, they were complaining. Because they weren't getting paid. There's a whole town in Utah with a whole bunch of IRS agents. And they were complaining. They had to go to food banks. Oh, yeah, I think I, think I watched it. You made a video on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watched that video. I and these people got houses and two cars. I'm like, damn, it's only a month. Y'all don't got savings for a month? You got to go to the food bank already, man? See, they're feeling, feeling it, man. Farmers are feeling it. Um, like I, uh, obviously TSA was feeling it. See what I'm saying? And these, like I said, these uh, welfare recipients, they was about to feel it, man. Because had it been that, um, it would have been a great cry in the ghetto, man. I'm telling you that. Man. Had they not got the EBT or whatever the case is, but they gonna lose it anyway. I feel like that's coming soon. I was just like uh, the beginning of this month, uh, the beginning of this year. So I think in 2020, man, who knows? Man. I feel like that's when everything went to the end. Hell, man, this month is crazy, man. It's gonna be sick, man. Quote unquote, so-called election year. It's gonna be crazy in 2020, man. We know Esau got things lined up. Yeah, he already got things planned yeah. going towards the uh, new world order. Yeah, yeah. But he don't, he don't understand that that's not going to pass. New nah, nah. Not gonna pass. Nah. He's going to set it up for a while to yeah. punish the two thirds. Yeah. See? Because they didn't want to take heed or hearken. So they're going to. Matter of fact. Any demons over there where you uh, are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I'm not part of the camp. He's pushing. He's huh? pushing. I'm pushing. I'm pushing the word. I'm not yeah. part of the camp. But I learned from I learned from GMS. 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 I learned from other camps too, but I stayed rooted and grounded in one specific doctrine. Yeah, yeah. Same here. Like, I'm not in no, you know, I'm not in no camp. But I learned from the elves of GMS. You know what I mean? But I'm here working on my own salvation. Same, same. 
That's that's I know one on the and I know through 14 to 23, I got her on well and I was edging. I got to tell you to come in, so I have to do that. I can't just sit. But um, there's a scripture on that. You can't like hide your talent. Hide your talent, yeah. Yeah, have my, yeah that. I can't. Uh, all this knowledge he gave me, I was supposed to, I got, I got to spread it. I can't just sit in my house and just, man, I had to come out with it. So I had to leave uh, Whether yeah, I was going to join the camp or not. Uh, you made a video on that too. I think you said that. Even yeah. if you're a part of the camp or not, you still got to go out there and push. Like, yeah, if you have, if, if that's your, if you ask your office. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you have a lot of guys. Some people, and not everybody's a, ta not everybody's a prophet. You know what I'm saying? Scripture.